Hello there, it's I, the Spooky Eater of Worlds. Welcome to another Terraria video, where today I'm going to be talking about Lepus, Turkor, and also Arkram, the three removed Terraria bosses. So sit back, relax, like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the video. See you in the video, lovelies. Lepus is a very old boss that was exclusive to the 3DS and tablet version of Terraria. It was a very cool boss who was based off a little bunny. Look at him hoppering around on screen, isn't he cute? He, had, he dealt 50 damage, content damage that is, and had a max life of 9,000. He had 8 defense as well. Very silly little boss. Very silly indeed. He often dropped the suspicious looking egg, less healing potions, the egg cannon, the most deadly weapon ever, boots of Astaria, bunny hood, ninjas, the ninja set, just like King Slime, and souls of might. Pre hard mode, by the way, that's a tad strange. This boss was the epitome of, hmm, what can we do to make this version better, you know? This version's exclusive to devices that people probably won't have unless they play a lot of Pokemon games or only have a phone. So how about, how about this? We had an Easter boss, right? Super cool. And it'll drop Easter-related items and other things that are cool. I quite like Lepus because he's like King Slime, but he summons bunnies instead of slimes. And he hopped around like a bunny. And he was a bunny. So I'm going to rate Lepus a, a 7 out of 10 as a removed boss. Rest well, my King Lepus. Rest well. Next, we're going to move on to Turkor the Ungrateful. Turkor the Ungrateful is a 3DS and tablet version exclusive boss. He is a big turkey. Like what people eat at Thanksgiving in America? Yes, a big turkey, indeed. He has a defense of question mark, as it says on the wiki, 7,000 max life, and he deals a damage of 15 with his devastating turkey attacks, with his manic gobbles. He drops five gold coins, lesser healing potions, feathers like harpies, and horns of plenty. He was a very funny boss, as he was literally just a big turkey. Like, quite literally, you would see him and he's like, wait, what, is that a stuffed turkey? No shot. Why is that turkey so stuffed and why could it hurt me? Oh god, it's trying to kill me. It has multiple heads. Why is this turkey a hydra? Ah! And then, yeah. You know, you, you beat him. And he dropped wonderful gear. He was very similar to Lepus in the, you know, in the effect that he had. He was, for the tablet and the 3DS version, hmm, let's add something unique and spicy that'll make all the fans love us. So, this is a big turkey, right? Thanksgiving boss pog. Anyway, we're gonna move on to Okram, a very sexy boss indeed. Okram was an old gen console boss who was removed. He had a damage of 65, a health of 35k, and a whopping 20 defense, which is quite a bit, he could probably murder you. He was a mixture of the Eye of Cthulhu, Eater of Worlds, and Brain of Cthulhu, and many more enemies. He had projectiles such as Demon Scythes and Blue Lasers. He was a very dangerous boss. In his second phase, his damage was boosted all the way up to 180 at its max, and his defense stayed the same. He dropped Souls of Blight, Adamant Ainor, as you would expect, less healing potions, which is kind of weird, Dragon Armor, Titan armor, spectral armor, spectral arrows, the Okram trophy, and the Okram mask. All of those armors I just mentioned were a lot stronger before they became vanity sets and were actually the peak performance for each class. I quite like Okram, as he's just that weird mismatched boss, you know. You look at him and you're like, this dude knows what nostalgia is. If this dude says Okram is his favorite boss, he's one of the most coolest guys ever. He knows who Okram is. That's that triggers so many nostalgic memories in my head. I love Okram. He's such a cool guy. But my personal opinion, Okram is not my favourite boss. This may anger a lot of my fans, as a lot of them really like Okram. But I love him myself. He's just not my favourite. You don't need to know who my favourite boss is. Just take a look at my channel and you'll know. Anyway, I quite like Okram. And if you want to fight any of these bosses, there is a mod you can play. I think it's called Consolaria, which makes each of the bosses accessible in modded. You have to use PC, though. See you all later, have a wonderful day, and hey, if you're new around here, subscribe, like, and share. Bye, lovelies.